A couple pieces, put them in. Dinner time means family time at the Skillman household, from who's chopping to who's stirring, to who's sitting around the table, and who soon won't. How hard is this for your family? Uh, I'm not real sure. I don't really think. I don't really think it's hit a bit. I really don't. A grandfather to three girls, his other title is Master Sergeant Dan Skillman, U.S. Army Reserves. He deploys to Afghanistan in just weeks with his wife, Master Sergeant Lola Skillman, and their oldest son, James, a sergeant. Husband, wife, and son will be gone nine months as reserve support at Kandahar. Despite the 29 years that Lola has served, this will be her first time deployed to a war zone. Are you scared at all? Yes. <laughs> You know, some people say, no, they're not scared, they're ready to go do this, but I think in the back of everybody's mind, it's, it's a little bit terrifying. At the Skillman home, where the unpaved road meets the Montana big sky, they know about sacrifice for country. Lola's father was awarded the Purple Heart during World War II. Dan's father joined the National Guard. Dan deployed for a year in Iraq, and James almost didn't come home from Iraq when a grenade hit his vehicle. The war is not over. We, we still have a job to do. Susie, she, right now she just thinks I'm going, going to work, and you know I won't be back for, for a long time. Susie, his four-year-old, who can't quite pronounce Esco much less comprehend where daddy's going. And it is very hard to talk to the family about what if you don't come back. But that's just what everybody knows about going to war. So you, you try to talk about it, but how can you? The U.S. military doesn't have a specific policy about the deployment at the same time of an entire family unit. In this case, parents and a child. The military says it also does not keep track of how many cases like this are out there. But ask anybody around here, and they'll tell you this is something they have almost never heard of. We have so many American heroes in this country that serve every day. Um, it, it, it's... It's enormous the amount of sacrifices that our American families make here and abroad. And uh, they do it for selfless service for the country. The military is called a brotherhood. The Skillmans prefer to call it family. I'm going with my wife and my son. Here and there. Kyung Law, CNN, Helena, Montana.